Wonder when the best time to take fish oil is? I'm gonna tell you, stick around. Welcome, I'm Joel Hayden. If we haven't met, welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness channel where we talk about all things to do with eye care, optometry, nutrition, ocular nutrition, and ways to live longer. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and hit that like button if you get something out of this video. Let's get at it. All right guys, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video on when the best time of day is to take fish oil pills. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how to find out what a good quality fish oil is. But before that, let's get to the answer that you've been looking for. When is the best time of day to take fish oil? What do you think? Do you think it's A, first thing in the morning? Do you think that it is B, around your fattiest meal? Do you think it's C, whenever you can remember on a regular basis to take it? Or do you think it's D, end of the day? Well, kind of a curveball question. The answer depends on you. If you're the type of person that's really regimented and can really hone in um, ahead of, you know, know what you're gonna eat during the day, then I guess you could pick the actual answer, which is, Taking it around your fattiest meal is the answer for the best time of day to take it. The problem is, is a lot of us don't know what that meal will be because we don't know what we're gonna be eating later on in the day. So I think the most important time for most people, at least starting out with fish oil, is to take it when you can remember to take it regularly. I tend to take mine Shortly after I get to work, it's sitting right there. That works great for the days that I'm at work. And then I have to remember, of course, to take it on days that I'm home and not working. So that can be a little tricky. If you're the type of person that takes all your pills in the morning and you want to put, put it with the rest of them, go right ahead. Same thing with the end of the day. But a lot of people don't like the fish coming back, the, the taste of the fish coming back on them. And if you take it around your fattiest meal, I usually tell patients, just, just take it before you eat. And then the food will push it down and hopefully push it through the, uh, the stomach before it opens up and starts repeating on you. Another good way to keep that fish burp from coming back up, and it sounds awful, I know, I'm sorry, but it's relevant. And I usually tell patients, if that really bothers you, put them in the refrigerator. Now, Putting them in the refrigerator makes you less apt to be able to remember to take them. So again, you need to be able to remember to take them. But by being in the, in the refrigerator a little bit harder, when you ingest them, they usually will pass through the stomach before they open and thus not repeat on you. So that's another good way of keeping that fish taste from coming back at you. All right, so at the beginning I told you at the end, I would tell you how to pick a good fish oil. Here it is. I want you to spin the label around of the, of the fish oil that you're looking at and make sure it tells you in milligrams how many milligrams of EPA and DHA are in that fish oil. Then I want you to add them together and that number should be better than half of the serving size of the amount of fish oil the manufacturer tells you to take. So let's say that you're looking at a serving size of 2,000 milligrams of fish oil, which is what I would usually tell you to take. And it has 700 milligrams of EPA, 500 milligrams of DHA. Together, that's 1,200 milligrams when you add those two together, which makes up about 60% of the 2,000 milligrams of fish oil. Yeah, you might need a calculator, but that's it. If you spin that bottle around, and you look at the amount of EPA and DHA that's in it, and it doesn't tell you, put that back as fast as you can. I'd rather have you not take that product than to take a product that is just not gonna do you any good. Find something that meets my standards. If you like what I had to say, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and until next time, take care.